Okay, I'm gonna need water for this next part. So, hello to everyone. I know it is Wednesday. Um, there are like tons and hundreds of uh, scary films out there. This is going to be a speed run. I'm not gonna go over the synopsis. I'm not gonna go over what's about. So, what I want you guys to do: uh, get a pen, get a paper. Well, pause the video real quick, and I want you to get a pen and a paper because I'm about to give you like a list of scary films for you guys to check out. And go ahead and pause it. Wow, you paused it. Okay, cool. That's my little, you know, freeze thing right there. So, anyways, so let's go over this real quick. These are also a whole bunch of scary movies that I got a chance to watch over the time, over my lifetime, and also, um, I got a chance to watch a couple of these. I have to remind my, I have to go back and watch some of these films just for my enjoyment. Um, so, you guys ready? And here we go. Final Destination series. That's just one. Off the races. Here we go. Drag Me to Hell. House of Wax. Prom Night. You can pause it whenever you feel like it. Um, just letting you know. So, hey. Bones. Which was very... That was a pretty good movie. <laughs> The Grudge, The Ring, The Unborn, Dead Silence, Stay Alive, Psycho, that's old school, Silver Bullet, Dracula 2000, Tales from the Crypt movies, they got, I think, about one or two Tales of the Crypt films, uh, let's see, The Poltergeist, 13 Ghosts, Ghost Ship, the Invisible Man, the one with, um, what's her name? Can't think of her name. Um, from um, the the latest version that just came out this year, Invisible Man. That was pretty good. You guys will watch that, enjoy that. Um, An American Werewolf in Paris. Enjoyable film. Haven't seen it in a while, but enjoyable. Um, Frankenstein and Young Frankenstein. That was a very good one. Hollow Man. That was a good one. The Wolfman and The Mummy. So let's see how many films. That's like that's a lot of that's a lot of films. Just giving you guys different options on different scary movies that you guys can watch. Um so you can enjoy for this Halloween um or throughout the week. Or just go watch move just to watch these films. Because they're all of them are all pretty good. Um of course you might laugh at some of it because some of some of them might be kind of corny or make you laugh or whatever what's going on but other than that all those films right there they're very good films of course there are some that have sequels to it and you have to probably look for that and search for that but you can pretty much find these on streaming services probably go to the red box some probably on netflix and some you probably have to just like i said might have to buy these films i don't know but all those films that I just listed right there are very good watchable horror films to get you in the Halloween spirit. Um, I don't know what Halloween is going to look like this this year. I mean, because of COVID, to be honest with you. I know I haven't seen any, really seen any Halloween decorations set up. I um, know that's kind of a bummer for the kids and everything. I know some people are going to, people, to churches or other areas, or other locations where it's uh, safe. Excuse me. Ooh, I have a lot of H2O. Where it is safe to enjoy and have kids still dress up and still go pick candy and everything. But um yeah, that's the that's about it. So if you are going if you do have kids and you are going out on Halloween, um in your neighborhoods, please be safe. Um we all know what, what to do during during Halloween, you know, make sure you're going out there um as a family, as friends and partner up. Make sure you're 100% safe. Be careful of those creep, creeps and riddles out there because they are out there trying to prey on um, not just kids, but everybody. Uh, take flashlights. Um, kids, make sure that you tell your kids to uh, that you're going as a group and don't approach anyone's doorstep unless you guys are right there beside each other. Um, I know kids get really excited and want to go out and run around and but, you know, last thing on the kid's mind is, is, you know, what any predator or anyone is um, thinking about. Sorry to, you know, 
trying to round people to parade, but just want people to be safe and to enjoy the Halloween if people are going out and enjoying themselves. Because uh, you know, we got some sick old worlds out of there out of here in the world and you know, uh I shudder to think of what, what they could do to kids and you know, I just I'm a parent myself, so I just want everybody to be safe and enjoy themselves and have a good time. So Ooh, this year is um it's almost up. It's almost over with. But you know, I just want everybody to be safe. And um that's all I got for you guys. So yeah. That this is chapter three of Seven Nights of Terror. Seven Nights of Horror. Sorry, getting my own title mixed up and messed up. <laughs> and um you guys enjoy those films. Tell me what you think. Um uh, also if you do know of any scary films that are out, let me know about it. I think it's one that's coming out this weekend called um, Come and Play. And I'm going to try to see if I can watch that this weekend and um, enjoy it. But uh, sorry, I thought I saw something on the floor. But other than that, you guys have a good one. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. Hit that button. That is the bell if you want more notifications on when I upload videos. Until next time, have a good one. Peace.